Okay, so now to show something new and a bit more interesting. Keyframe animation is a pretty big part of DaVinci Resolve. So if you want the zoom to increase or decrease over time, what we can do is set keyframes and have DaVinci Resolve animate between those keyframes automatically by having the software figure out how much zoom it should be at every frame of video. So if I go to the start of this clip where I want to zoom in, and I click on this little white diamond next to the property I want to animate, such as the zoom, then that will set a keyframe. So this will mean that at that point in time, the first frame of this clip, it's going to be 1.0 zoom. So that's just the normal video not zoomed in any more than it normally is. Now I go to a new part in the timeline by dragging the timeline cursor, and if I want to set a new keyframe, I simply need to change the value now, to what it should be at that point in time. So if I set 1.5 and hit enter, you can see that the second keyframe is automatically created. If I go back to the first frame, you can see that there it's still 1.0. And if I go forward in video, you can see that the value now changes automatically over time. Now, if you want to quickly navigate between keyframes, uh, as long as there's more than one keyframe, you can left click on these arrows that will be created in order to jump to the next and previous keyframes on your video clip, and that's very, very convenient. If we zoom in a bit more on the timeline, so I'm going to use the timeline bar for this, and we go to our video clip. On the bottom right, you'll see two options that are related to keyframing. If we click on this one, the one that looks like the keyframing diamond, we can see the keyframes for each property in the timeline, and if we drag the timeline cursor, it will automatically snap to those keyframes where we can make adjustments easily. We can also uh, drag the keyframes across time if we want the starting and ending points for those animations to be closer together or further away, thus increasing or decreasing the length of an animation. We can also click on the Ease Curves button over here, which is right to the left there. And then if you want to have easing in and out for any animation, we can click on a keyframe point here. So in order to add easing between these two points, I'm going to click on this option over here, the second from the left, which will add in a Bezier curve handle, uh, which we, we can use to control the curve between the first and second keyframes, but I'm actually going to leave that as defaults there. And in this curve editor, we can edit the value at each keyframe, so we could change the zoom to be 2.0 here, or 3.0 if we wanted to. We can click on the Bezier curve handle in order to adjust the rate of change over time of the animation between these two points. I'm not going to do that right now, I'm just going to uh, undo and leave it at its defaults. And of course we could change the starting value because that's just another keyframe point that we can adjust. Likewise with the simpler keyframe editor over there to the right, uh, we can drag these points in terms of their duration or starting and end times as well by dragging it to the left and right. So for now, just to show how we were able to animate a property over time, I'm going to hit space here and play back the video. You'll notice that it zooms in over a period of time rather than jumping to its full zoomed in value immediately. So if we keep playing that back, you can notice over in the inspector that the value animates over time without us doing any more work whatsoever. And what's great about keyframe animation is you can use it on many, many different things. So you could animate the position of a video as well. So for instance, you can have a video clip start way off center, like so, and then I can ha and have that animate back to the centered position of zero over time, just by setting up a, key a couple keyframes, setting the values at those keyframes. And now if I hit space here, you can see that the position also animates over time, in addition to the zoom also animating. So you can get pretty fancy and complicated with that really quickly if you're interested in that. 